Yo Yugi fam, I hope everybody's having a great day today. So I decided to make a video for some test hands for Salomon Greats. Um, I want to show you guys how to play this deck um, and how to play it with full hands obviously if you're going first or second, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna assume that this is game one and uh, just a bunch of game ones and <clears throat> we won the dice roll and we're going first or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get right into it. So our first hand is, um, we got the Counter Trap, we got Falco, we got Valor, and we got Lady Debug. Um, so this is going to be, uh, more like a two-ish, two-ish, one and a half card combo. Uh, because these three cards do absolutely nothing for us. It's amazing that we drew them because we do run the nine hand traps. Um, so we drew two of them. And then we have the counter trap, which is awesome. So we're going to start off uh, very basic with the normal summon of Lady Debug. And um, so this is our hand right here. This is the field. So normal summon Lady Debug, we're going to add the Gazelle. Uh, Gazelle is the main piece that you want to add to your hand as quickly as possible. Um, so that's why if we don't have access to Gazelle, uh, we need it through, um, through Lady Debug. Um, we're from here. Um, we're going to link away Lady Debug into uh, Bay Links. Okay, he's usually the link one or the only link one that you you go with to start off your plays. Um, we're gonna activate um, Bay Links effect to search for the field spell. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, we got the field spell. Um, and then from here, um, we're going to actually uh, activate the field spell. Um, unfortunately, I'd never want to waste the um, relink effect um, for you know the link one, but in this case we have to. Um, so we're gonna relink into. I'm sorry. We're gonna relink into our second Bale links, and uh, this is gonna trigger some effects. Um, it's mainly gonna actually it's uh, we're gonna just trigger gazelle um, we're gonna summon gazelle and then we're gonna make gazelle chain link one to dump a card to the graveyard and we're gonna make foul chain link two this is one of the new cards I'm playing um, I didn't include this in the deck profile uh, but I'm trying it out and it's working very well so it, you could chain block gazelle um, so you could summon foul first and then gazelle will resolve so they can't ash this um, and then we're going to get Spinny. We're going to get Spinny in the grave because we want to go into the rank 3 as quickly as possible. Alright, let me just move this up right here. Um, okay, and now since we control a Salmon Great Monster, we can activate Spinny's effect in the grave to special summon. We're going to special summon Spinny to go into our rank 3. Marat Stallio, we're going to activate Marat Stallio's effect detaching the gazelle because we want to add gazelle back to our hand later and we're gonna summon the jack jaguar um, jack jaguar is mainly the one you want to you know summon from the deck it all depends on you know what your hand looks like um, but again this is so far this is just a two card combo so uh, remember these are the three cards in our hand uh, everything here and in the grave is up two cards, Lady Debug and, and Foul. And Foul really didn't contribute anything. So it's more like a one card combo mostly, with the exception of Foul being on the board. Um, yeah, so uh, from here, we're going to go into our um, Sunlight Wolf. We're going to go into a Link 2. Okay. And after we go into a Link 2... We're actually going to go into another link to using Marat Stallio and Sunlight Wolf. We're going to go into a, another Sunlight Wolf. Okay. And from here, because we want to take advantage of Sunlight Wolf's full effects, the reincarnation effect as well. Um, so since we, so we're going to use Sunlight Wolf's effect. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Jack Jaguar's effect. Uh, when you control a Salmon Great Link monster, you can special summon this guy by returning any um, Salmon Great monster back into the deck. So in this case, we're going to return the uh, we're going to return the Sunlight Wolf um, just so we can recycle it. 
manage our resources better and then summon this to the link pointer um, and then that's going to trigger sunlight wolf's effect and we're going to add the gazelle so we're going to add the gazelle back to hand and um, and then from here guys we're actually going to go into a rank 4 play um, you know because we can obviously we're going to go into abyss dweller and uh, and that's going to be our we're going to set this the counter trap uh, and this is going to be our ending board, guys. It's uh, it's a really strong play. Um, you have Abyss Dweller. You have the uh, Counter Trap. We drew two Hand Traps, so that's four Negates right there. Uh, which is insane. It's just freaking... It's a, it's amazing. And plus, we have uh, we have follow-up plays, obviously. We have Spinny in the Graveyard. We have Gazelle in our hand. Um, yeah, it's just fantastic. We have Foul. We have Jaguar to detach. Uh, yeah, guys, so that was test hand number one. It was very powerful, very, very powerful uh, uh, opening play if, go if you're going first. All right, guys, so I'm just going to put this to the side. We are going to power shuffle. All right, we're going to power shuffle for test hand number two. So yeah, guys. Um, so notice uh, that was about a one and a half card combo um, that we ended on. We were able to end on Abyss Dweller uh, with Sunlight Wolf with protection in the grave from Bela Lynx, and um, and yeah, we just opened up like three ne three negates uh, without um, you know without counting the other two cards, Lady Debug and Foul. So yeah, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good uh, hand, man. I really enjoy this deck. This deck is super fun to play, manages its resources very, very well. It's very powerful, very... Um, it's control, turn one, and then turn two, it just overwhelms your opponent with like OTK or, or just uh, spamming the board. All right, so um, test hand number two, we opened up the nuts again. Um, okay, so in these certain situations, I'm not sure whether to, um, summon, like, Foxy, because I really want to normal summon Foxy, because it's a, it's a Salmon Great Monster, and it'll trigger off Gazelle much easier, but we opened up Will, um, and this is a card I really love, uh, I play two, um, so in this situation, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna actually normal summon the Debug, uh, the reason that I like Debug is because, it, it just guarantees us like the mon you know which monster like if you we opened up a gazelle we can search for spinny if we opened up spinny we could uh, search for a gazelle so I feel like it's definitely the stronger play for sure um, so yeah we're gonna do that and from here we're going to go into our link one we're gonna go into Bela links and then Bela links is gonna trigger to add our field spell so um just so you guys know um if you're like planning to play this deck for the first time the goal of this deck is to end on pretty much the same board for the most part um but to do it consistently to be able to manage your resources from the grave and uh, maintain uh card advantage um, hand advantage specifically so that you have follow-up plays so you're able to like protect your monsters prevent your opponent from playing too much simplify the game state with hand traps or your counter traps and then um, be able to push for game uh, next turn or just build enough advantage to where your opponent can't really come back uh, from here we're going to activate spinny's effect we're going to boost bail links by 500 that's going to trigger our gazelle we're going to special gazelle uh, we're going to send the counter trap uh, because we pretty much have everything in our hand that we need. Um, and again, like, there are a couple of dead cards in our hand right now. But this deck doesn't need much to, you know, get going. Uh, so even if, like, Lady Debug got hand trapped, uh, we'd still be able to keep going. Only because we opened up, like, Will of Fire. Um, because we have the Gazelle. Um, so, yeah, so we could play through hand traps with this, with this hand right here. Um, which I really like. So... We're going to trigger Spinny, pretty much the same play, a special summon Spinny, go into our rank 3, uh, detach the Gazelle because we want to get it back later to summon Jaguar. This isn't going to be as strong as our first hand, but nonetheless we will still end with um, 
a pretty 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 okay board um, and uh, and just be able to maintain card advantage so we have plays for like next turn uh, so from here we're gonna go into the link two. we're gonna go into sunlight wolf <clears throat> best extra deck monster right let's move this down here so you guys see it um, and then we're going to activate the field spell we're gonna relink into another sunlight wolf um, and then from here we're gonna activate Let's see, we're gonna activate Sunlight Wolf's effect to add the counter trap to our hand, and then we're gonna activate Jag Jaguar's effect to shuffle back this Sunlight Wolf to summon this right here. That's gonna trigger Sunlight Wolf, we're gonna add Gazelle. All right, so you guys can kind of see the um, see the patterns here of how Wolf is able to uh, maintain card advantage. Um, <clears throat> so, we still have we have five cards in our hand right now like we have five cards so we already won like plus four um, so from here let's see let us see what can we do from here from here it's pretty so we'll just set the um, set the counter trap uh, we don't have to overextend too much um, the only thing I would do is actually r link this into the link one and uh, it's a precaution that I take um, just in case they um, kaiju this monster. We wouldn't be able to activate the counter trap. So now they have to get rid of these two if they want to prevent the counter trap from going off. And chances are that's not going to happen. Uh, we're going to be able to activate the counter trap, stop one of their plays, or stop like a big play they have. Um, if they manage, if they want to try to push through, um, like we could protect our Salamain great cards by banishing this card instead. So like, if they want to um, destroy multiple cards at once, we could banish this card and protect those cards. Um, or if they try to like attack like Sunlight Wolf or Marat Stalio, because protecting Marat Stalio is actually very important too, because next turn we could just activate it again to, to you know, summon more monsters. Um, and th so after we've used the protection, after we've used the negate, if they manage to destroy, like say Sunlight Wolf, for example, um, because Sunlight Wolf is a very strong monster and they wanna get rid of it, we can trigger Gazelle um, because uh, um, a Salmon Great Monster was sent to the grave. We can trigger trigger Gazelle to summon it, and then we can just like, um, you know, we could dump Circle, we can dump um, Falco, we can dump any Salmon Great card, so that way we have follow-up plays. And it, it'll, it's gonna be very hard for them to push for a game through the protection and through Gazelle. Um, and then we, we did open up Fusion of Fire, so that gives us access to uh, Chimera, and then Chimera is what, uh, what OTKs. Um, and then we have Foxy, we still have Will, we have so many plays to do um, to overwhelm our opponent if they can't kill us. And it's very hard for them to uh, to push for a game afterwards. Alright guys, that's, uh, that's um, test hand number... That's test hand number two. Alright, let me do another power shuffle. So you guys can see this this deck is uh, pretty consistent. It it opens up very well with your combo pieces. Um, I did make some changes to the uh, to the main deck. Uh, like I added foul. I had a 41 card deck. It's a 40 card deck right now because I cut the uh, I cut the two twin twisters. Um, the only reason I cut them is because realistically we have games two and three. You know, it's never just like one game that you depend on uh, for the match. Um, so like for game two and three, we can always side in those cards so that way we can, you know, be ready for for the um, for for whatever our opponent's playing. Um, and the reason that I took out Twin Twisters is uh, because it didn't contribute to the uh, combos and I wanted to make this deck as consistent as possible. We already have built-in removal like counter traps and uh, we have the uh, Salmon Great Rage to like pop any card on the field and stuff like that. So we do have cards that are built into the archetype uh, that are answers to, to our opponent's um, uh, deck or whatever. So here's our here's our um, third test hand. So, all right, guys. So this is gonna be a perfect example of a one card combo. Um, 
we ended up opening Rage, Salmon Gray, and Two Ashes. And like you might be like thinking, oh my god, this is like so terrible, but believe it or not, we can still make plays with this um, with this hand because Gazelle is just so powerful. It's the best card in the deck. Um, so we're gonna normal summon Gazelle. So these cards, for now, they do not matter um, because right now we're focusing on getting Spinny into the grave. We're gonna special Spinny, go into our rank three play. So this is this is like a one card combo pretty much. So we're gonna pitch uh, Gazelle to special one from the deck. We're gonna go for Jack Jaguar <clears throat> because he is uh, very easy to bring back. Uh, we're gonna go into Wolf. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna go into Wolf, and then from here we need Jack Jaguar. So we're gonna put Marat Stallio back into the deck to summon Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar's effect is gonna, I'm sorry, uh, Sunlight Wolf's gonna activate because Jack Jaguar got summoned to a Link Pointer that it points to, so it triggers Sunlight Wolf to add a fire monster back to your hand. This can be any fire monster. Uh, most of the time you want to add, um, you want to add Gazelle because you want to be able to abuse Gazelle as much as possible in this deck. So we're going to add Gazelle. We already went plus two. We still have five cards in our hand. Um, from here, we're going to use Jack Jaguar to go into uh, Bela Lynx because we want access to the field spell. Uh, we're going to activate its effect. We're going to plus even more to add Sanctuary to our hand. And uh, believe it or not, we don't need Sanctuary right now, um, only because we have two monsters and we want to get Bela Lynx in the grave for protection, so we're just going to summon another Sunlight Wolf, okay, and we're going to set Rage, we're going to set the counter, okay, and we have Ash in our hand, okay. So um, so we have protection from Bela Lynx. We have Gazelle back in our hand for follow-up plays. We have Spinny in the grave. We have Jaguar in the grave. Uh, Rage can pop up to two cards, all right, because Sunlight Wolf uh, is a link too, and it was used to... Uh, we use another Sunlight Wolf to link summon it, so we can uh, abuse this card. So we can pop two cards, non-targeting, non-targeting removal, and then we have a negate, and then we have Ash in our hand. Um, so that's why in this deck you can like play hand a lot, like a lot of hand traps uh, because as you saw with one card, we were able to have like um, a setup to where we have protection in the grave. We added the field spell. We added Gazelle back to our hand. This is all off one card. And then, um, you know, we, we drew into these. Um, so again, very, very strong. Another very strong board um, in my opinion. Um, all right, guys, so we are already 18 minutes in. Um, I kind of want to do a test hand um, going second. Like, I want to see what we open up, like our first five cards going second, and then what our sixth card would be. And um, maybe I can show you guys uh, the... Actually, I will show you guys the OTK play. Um, you know, obviously, if we open up... If we open up the uh, combo pieces... Um, I want to show you guys how to like be able to go for a game like if if you if you manage to stop your opponent with your hand traps um, if you manage to stop your opponent with your hand traps uh, you're 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 kind of able to you know go for a game all right so uh only hand trap we open is impermanence um, the rest of the cards are like insane. Um, it's funny that so far I've opened up like multiple hand traps and uh, very little combo pieces, uh, but <laughs> going second, I just have to know. So in permanence, we try to stop our opponents. So since this is the only hand trap, you need to be cautious um, what to stop. So what do you want to use the impermanence on? Make sure that it's a very crucial, uh, it's a very important hit because if you waste this impermanence and your opponent can play through it, um, yes, we do have a lot of combo pieces, a lot of combo starters, but we want to be very cautious with how we use the impermanence. Um, so depending on what they're playing, whether they're playing like Sky Strikers, if they're playing Sky Strikers and, um, 
you know, you might want to, you know, stop the Kagari uh, if it's trying to add like um, uh, engage back to the hand. Um, you know, you can activate it. So if they're playing like Guru Control, you can like try to hit the Guru when they try to add. Um, if they're playing, you know, uh, Crusadia, uh, you can try to hit like the uh, the Saryuja. Um, you can try to hit uh, like one of the um, the dragons that special summons red eyes from the deck. Um, that could also stop their plays right there. Uh, so yeah, so just be very cautious how you use the impermanence. So uh, we use the impermanence. Hopefully that was enough to kind of slow our opponent down where we can play through uh, a disruption. Uh, we opened up foul, which is really good. Uh, we're going to draw for turn. Excellent. It's another extender. Um, we drew the spinny, so this is a great hand, uh, even going second. Um, so from here, let's see, we don't need to add any other... I don't think we need Lady Debug, um, because if Lady Debug gets stopped, uh, we're kind of like in a pickle, but not really. Um, so just, we're not going to use Lady Debug, we're actually going to... Uh, we're going to normal summon Gazelle, okay? We're going to normal summon Gazelle... Uh, we're going to make Gazelle chain link 1, and we're going to make Foul chain link 2. Um, and then it's going to allow Gazelle to go off. And we're going to we're gonna go for the Fusion of Fire, okay? We're, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for Violet Chimera to try to OTK our opponent. Uh, chances are they, they have an, uh, a monster in attack position, and that's all you need, pretty much, uh, to be able to... Um, to be able to attack and go for game. Um, you can argue that Lady Debug might have been like a better normal summon, but uh, I wanted to chain foul. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so uh, we chain blocked, right? So our opponent couldn't negate Gazelle, so we got Fusion of Fire um, in the grave. Uh, what I like about foul is that it has another effect. Um, that people don't really use. It says once per turn you can send one Salman great card from your hand or face up to the graveyard target a set spell or trap card your opponent controls that set card cannot be activated this turn. Um, why is this card, why is this, why does this matter? Because if we manage to stop like strikers for example and they set an, uh, they set a widow anchor, we can force out the widow anchor by pitching spinny. We can pitch spinny to the graveyard and target that set card. It can't be activated this turn. So they have to respond like right now. Um, and that's a great way to force out like maybe a counter trap. Maybe you can force out like a floodgate. Um, uh, it's it's a really good card. It's uh, It forces out like stuff early that they didn't, they wanted to save. Um, so I like it a lot. And plus we pitch Spinny. Spinny's just a free because Spinny comes back. Uh, so yeah, 